Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you missed my video that I posted yesterday, I talk about uh, coaches who are mentally weak and coaches who are mentally tough. If you missed that, try to go watch that. I think that video will really, really help you. I got a lot of messages um, and emails after that video was posted from coaches, uh, some who really liked it, some who didn't like it at all. Um, <laughs> And that's cool, uh, but go watch that video. I think that will really, really help. Now, today's video, I'm gonna talk about why you should stop texting your clients, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you some just stats here, all right? If you, let's say you have more than 10 clients, right? Let's just say 10. That's, a, in my mind, a very low number, but if you have 10 clients and every week you are messaging them, hey, are you guys free at this time on this day at this location? And you have to wait for everybody to get back to you. Um, right, right there, <clears throat> you're spending time doing that. Then people are gonna text you and say, oh, we can't make it then, but we can make it this way or this time. Then you're going back and you're going back and forth. Now, that's like one scenario, is you spend time scheduling. Then a lot of times what happens is when parents have questions, they'll text you, you'll go back and forth, all right? That's more time that you're spending. Then there's time where parents will say, hey, can I jump on a quick call with you? And we know that a quick call with a parent is typically 45 minutes, <laughs> right? And we know that that's not scheduled, we know that they're gonna end up talking about something that has absolutely nothing to do uh, with their kid. Um, but as a coach, you get on that call because you're nice and you wanna be there for your client, right? And it all starts though with texting, right? If clients know they have the ability to, to hit you up whenever they want, during the week, on the weekend, when you're eating dinner, or if you're on a date with your wife, or whatever. Like, if people can can reach out to you and get a response like that very quickly, then they have all the leverage over you, right? And I know it's popular in this industry. Coaches want to have their clients feel like they can reach out to them anytime they want. But let me tell you why that's a really bad idea, right? And Because I used to think, oh yeah, people should have 24 access to me all the time. 24 seven access, uh, and they did, all right? And that was horrible. <laughs> Long-term, that was horrible, all right? And it's because you'll never have a clear division between your personal life and your business, all right? And I'm about to roll something out for coaches that I work with that is set up, literally, when someone becomes a client, there is zero phone, interaction right they'll be able to go to a members area ask questions and if they really wanted to schedule a call they could schedule a call but it's going to happen on zoom it's going to be recorded that call will be less than five minutes and what i'm doing now because i i'm noticing this problem with coaches that have a lot of clients is they always tell me well ben i am so strapped down to the clients that i have it's hard for me to grow because there's so much one-on-one -on -one interaction with everyone all of the time so that got me thinking, all right, there's, we need to develop a better way, a better system, all right? This is something that I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on over the next couple months. And if you're part of my coaching program, you're going to have access to it, all right? If you're not part of my coaching program, I'm never gonna talk about this like in great detail on YouTube. And it's not because I don't want you to know about it. It's, it's because I know when you have access to it, you'll know how everything works right and this is going to be designed if you have more than 10 clients all right if I, I would say if your business has more than 10 probably anywhere up to a thousand clients and a thousand sounds crazy but there are coaches that i've worked with that have over a thousand clients <laughs> right if if you're any if you're anywhere between those numbers then the thing that i'm going to be coming out with is going to save you thousands of hours of time per year, which is huge, right? That's really one of my goals with my, with not only with helping coaches, but that's my goal with my business too, is how can I free up more time? It's not how can I work harder and how can I work longer and how can I have 
more time upstairs away from my wife. <laughs> no, it's how can I leverage things to where I can work less and maximize my time when I am dealing with my clients, All right? And I'm really excited about this, but uh, it's going to uh, revolve, or it's going to have no phone, all right? So once someone becomes a client, the phone is out, right? The phone is non-existent. You're not going back and forth with your clients anymore, all right? You're not hopping on these random phone calls at Thursday at 7 p.m. when you're trying to have dinner with your wife, all right? It, that, those things stop happening, right? So I'm excited about this because I know it's going to change a lot of coaches' lives, um, and uh, I know how, how beneficial it's been for me because I've already been doing this in my business, and I know when we roll this out for coaches uh, that are in our program, like it's going to save a ton of time. It's actually going to make the relationships between you and your clients a lot better, um, and everything is going to be very streamlined to the point where you'll want to take on more clients because you're not worried about the time commitment anymore of, oh, I need to call them or I need to do this. That stuff goes out the window, all right, when this is properly set up. So I hope that helps. And um, stop using your phone to, to message people because when you do that, you are educating them on this is how I communicate and you can communicate with me whenever you want. And that is a, a hard thing to do uh, long-term. All right, that's it. And I'll see you later.